Wildlife officials say a parasite has killed four sea otters on the central coast, three of which were discovered off the north coast of San Luis Obispo County. KSBY News reporter Delaney White spoke to experts about how it could impact the community. Wildlife officials say four sea otters have been killed by a parasite known as Toxoplasma gondii. So right now we have four confirmed cases. Three of those are from San Luis Obispo County. Uh, ranging from San Simeon down to Morro Bay. And then the fourth one was found off um, the city of Santa Cruz in Santa Cruz County. Though there are no confirmed human cases of toxoplasma, veterinary specialists with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife say the parasite can be passed to humans through cats and they are monitoring the situation closely. This is a parasite that the only known source for um, the parasite to go from land to sea is from uh, fecal material that cats pass after their initial infection. Sea otters are one of many draws to the central coast. On Friday, visitors flocked to the sea otter nursery in Morro Bay. They're just really cute. <laughs> Debbie Curtin is visiting from Fresno and is worried about the potential harm this could bring to the sea otter population. I'm an animal lover. <laughs> so anything that would uh, a parasite that would kill any kind of animal, yes, it would be a concern, yeah. Miller advises those who work closely with marine mammals to be careful. We want our, our collaborators who work on studying causes of mortality in marine mammals to take extra precautions because we know toxoplasma can uh, potentially infect people. However, there has not yet been a confirmed human case. Miller says that while toxoplasma infections in sea otters are nothing new, this particular strain first discovered in cougars is more pathogenic and is causing more severe lesions in otters than they're used to seeing. It was the cause of death for all four otters found dead on the central coast. Unlike cats, otters cannot transfer the disease to humans. Delaney White, KSBY News. And to protect yourself against a toxoplasma infection, Miller recommends washing your hands after gardening, making sure you wash leafy green vegetables before you eat them, and making sure that meats are well cooked. If you are a cat owner, Miller says keeping your cats indoors, properly disposing of litter, and feeding cats cooked food can help protect you and your pet. Miller says there is an increased risk for those who are pregnant as well. She recommends not cleaning out litter boxes during a pregnancy and thoroughly washing your hands afterward if you must.